They're starting to stay down a little bit, so there are some legitimate questions about, you know, how long can he last or can he smoothly transition into that. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be legitimate. I mean, we got to look at it. That's safe for back. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Well, we'll table that conversation for uh, for just a moment here, gentlemen, because joining us now, Greg Cosell, one of our favorite guests every single the year man, here on the Radio the Round. There he is. Uh, Greg, thank you so much for taking the time as always. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I think we do this every year, Greg, but please tell everyone, what year are you in the NFL films? I just finished my 44th season. Oh, I'm Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Let's go, man. 44th, yeah, I know. It's uh, been a few years. It's <clears throat> been a few years. That's great. Our, our buddy Ross Tucker calls him the, uh, the goat of civilian tape. Oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> civilian. <laughs> Um, so, hey, let's start. Arthur Smith, new offensive coordinator right. for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Your thoughts on the hire and obviously throughout this process, what the Steelers might be trying to personnel-wise move towards in his offense. Well, I mean, all we have is what Arthur Smith has essentially done in the league. I mean, we don't know if he's going to do things differently, but we have him in Atlanta, we have him in Tennessee. Um, whether that's a function of the personnel he had in both places or a, or a function of his belief system. I guess we don't know the answer to that, but he's been a, a run game guy. He's been a base personnel guy. Plays with multiple tight ends. I mean, this is what he's done. Very true. Um, so the question is, is that what he's going to do in Pittsburgh? Um, Just a personnel statement. I mean, the Steelers have been the top of the league in 11 for a long time. He was last in 11 last year. Yeah. But he really only had good one, one good receiver. And of course, in Tennessee, you know, for, you know, when he was in Tennessee, they had Derrick Henry, you know, and so obviously the run game was the foundation of the offense in Tennessee. So, again, that's why the question is is this what he believes in? Or was this just a function of, you know, personnel? They obviously didn't have a great wide receiver for in Atlanta. Uh, you know, I had two good backs, so, you know. Red paint, paint the barn red. Right, yeah. right. So, I mean, you know, that, these are the things you don't know for sure. Um, you know, I think it's pretty evident that, you know, Mike Tomlin wants to play a certain kind of football, and you might see Arthur Smith as, as kind of, you know, being part of that, you know, physical football, grind it out, run the ball, have that be a meaningful part of how you play. Sure. Because in addition to just running the ball, it creates theoretically an attitude approach, yes. you know, a tempo approach. Um, the question is, can you play that way? Can, you know, can they play that way with their personnel? You know, you have to decide what you feel about Nigel Davis. You, you know, you have uh, uh, Nigel Harris, Harris excuse me. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, you have to decide what your feeling is about him. Um, can he be that guy? Um, you know, which we certainly can discuss. I have some of my thoughts on that. Um, but uh, you know, so again, based on track record, it would seem that that's what he's going to do. I mean, they do have, you know, again, now you also get into the fact that, you know, who's going to be the third wide out? Because it's not going to be Allen Robinson. So, you know, you know Pickens is a big, big time talent. And I would argue Pickens is a pure talent. It's nothing to do with the person. I, I, I don't know that stuff other than, you know, but I think talent, you could argue he's a top five receiver in the league. Um, you know, obviously, Anthony Johnson is a certain kind of receiver, but he's pretty good at that. So, you know, I don't know who the number three is. I don't know if it's the old kid, um, Austin. You know, if they see him as that guy. Yeah, you know. So, you know, now you have you have a number of questions that dictate how you choose to play, and obviously we still have free agency in the draft. Sure, so, sure. you know, a lot of these questions are not going. We're not going to change the world right here in this conversation, <laughs> but you know, but we're going to speculate and act like we know yeah. what we're talking about. That's right. Without yeah. a doubt, right? Without a doubt. Now, now, Greg, man, I'm always excited to get a chance to talk to you, man. I tell people all the time, my, my first time meeting you was at the uh, broadcast boot camp. Oh, the Bowling Green, man. So that's right. Yeah, yeah. Me, KJ Wright, Cliff Averill, and company, man. So that's right. You know, it's a cool experience, man. Uh, just diving with you, talking, filming, understanding just the significance of that right. when you're doing radio and how it is very similar to being a player. But, you know, that is why we also value your opinion on it because we do know what you're studying, we do know what you're seeing. And based on what we saw Arthur Smith do with Derek Camry and company, the play action pass, but heavy, heavy run personnel group, right? Najee Harris. Can he be that type of player for the Steelers at this stage? Um, you know, if, if, if I had to answer that, you know, with a yes or a no, I don't see him that way. Um, now, 
again, I think that the run game, if your O line is average to better than average, and you give it back the ball 250 times, he's going to gain 1,100 yards. I mean, should, yes. that's going to happen. Yes. Okay. That's a different question from whether a guy's a great back. Mm, very true. Okay. I, I don't see Najee Harris as the foundation and starting point. I don't see that. And again, I, I hope people listening understand that that's a that's a tape okay. study well, response. I'm not. I'm not. No, no. Because I get all the time yeah. on Twitter. You know, that's a hot take. I don't do <laughs> hot takes. No, we do film. Right now, film now, review, now man. is it possible I'm wrong? Yeah. Sure, it is. No one's right all the time. Sure. You know, you know that. Man. Sure. I mean, but Look, I, I Eric Henry and B. John Robinson listen, are pretty talented. Yeah. Even, yeah. even <laughs> you're wrong on film is not going to be as wrong as a hot take. Uh, yeah, that's I mean, I don't part. see yeah. it that way. Okay. You know, I think he's a grinder. Um, I don't think, you know, to me, given his size and his style of running the ends, what he has to be consistent, not once in a while, is a guy that when it's blocked for three, gets set. Mm, fall you forward know, every time. You know, that, that's the way he has to be because he's not a big playback. Very sure. Okay. So. And that is the Derrick Henry element. He can go 88. He can actually right. outrun you for a long right. time. Right. I mean, he's no, never going to yeah. When I watch yeah. backs, very often, you know, and, and that's one, when I even watch college backs, that's one thing that I really take note of. When it looks like a guy just gained three, and then you look up and got it. He just gained seven or eight. And you kind of go, oh, that's. Because in the league, first of all, you're not going to see a lot of 50 yard touchdowns. No, not at all. That doesn't fast happen. Out there. Right. Yeah. So. If you have a back that doesn't really have, you know, explosive, I mean, here, no, this, I'm not making any apples to apples comparison, but just look at what somebody like David Montgomery did for Detroit, okay? Oh, yeah. Now, he's a 250, yep. 220 yep. pound back, yep. and he did exactly that this year. You know, he was sort of the, 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 the thunder and the thunder yes. lightning, you know, but he would get six or seven. And that changes the way you call offense totally. You're always on schedule. Totally. You know, yeah. 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 Harris is, has not, to me, on tape, shown that he's that guy. And I, I, I actually really like Jalen Warren, but I mean, he's not a feature back in the sense that you're building your offense right. around him. But, you know, so they have to decide. Harris is, is a really, to me, a really interesting decision in the build. Right, and because of the contract time as well. Yep. You're talking about, right. you know, yeah. yeah. Is this he going is, into his fourth year? Going now? into the fourth, yeah. so it's like, do you pick up the pick option? Up Are you extending? What are you doing? Right. Plus this I mean, that time now. You know, again, I don't know the dates. I don't know why he should be able to get a big contract, but that's not going to happen. Not, not right now. They don't have to use a first round pick, so they've got the fifth. They, got, they, yeah, they control his rights. Only six point six million. No right. Right. They, they, don't, they don't have to deal with him right now, even if they even wants to deal with him. That's right. That's right. But they don't have to do that. So, you know, I think that's that's a, to me a really big question as to what they're going to be. You know, and then then I, you know, obviously you get the quarterback situation. Um, you know. I think it's easy to say Pickett hasn't been great. I mean, that's easy. The film, I think, has shown that he's not been a very comfortable player because he's, he's doing things in the NFL that he did not do in the college in a bad way. He's playing, playing faster than he's playing. Right, right. Where he's right. 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 I mean, I didn't think he was going to be a top five quarterback in the league, but I thought he could be a quality starter, yeah. depending on your system, your scheme, and the players around you. And, you know, obviously that hasn't happened yet. Um, maybe it never will. You know, you don't know. But I would assume he's still going to go into camp as the starting quarterback. Likely, likely there'll be a Tannehill right. meeting okay. or something yeah. like that. But if I were to put a chip down to the week one starter, is, yeah. I would say it's Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. as we sit here today. Yeah, and, and the one thing we do know about Pickett is he's going to do all the right things in the off season. Again, that doesn't mean he'll be a great player, but you know he's going to do all the right things. So. I think scheme, the new scheme, can only help Kenny or whoever the quarterback right. is. I mean, I, I didn't see the play action numbers almost have to go up. They've been very, they're at the bottom of the league now for five years. I think the run after the catch opportunities, off play action or not, just based on route design, route concepts, should help. And frankly, I didn't see a lot of easy answers for quarterbacks when things didn't go to school. Right. So Well, and I, you know, and keep in mind, I mean, just so people understand, I believe it was 2019 when Arthur Smith was the OC in Tennessee. Yes. And they averaged over 30 points a game. They got to the NFC Championship yep. game, competed very well against Kansas City. And, you know, Tannehill was the quarterback, had his best year. I mean, that's kind of, I think, the template for what you'd like to see. You know, because Tannehill, Tannehill's not a bad thrower at football by any means. He's, you know, 
relatively athletic. He was a former first played, rounder, wide receiver. And he played receiver, wide receiver yeah, for the first two years in college. Yeah. yeah. He was so, also 31, Tannehill was at that point. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? He so, wasn't I mean, still you know, young. In an, in an ideal world, now obviously, Nigel Harris, he was in love with his not Derrick Henry. But, but, you know, that to me would be the model for what you'd hope yeah. this offense can look like. Because to me, I don't. I think Kenny can. I think Kenny is closer to getting to a Tannehill level than we probably are going to see Najee get into a Derrick Henry. Level. I would agree with that. And yeah. with this system, it's like, man, that can work still. Yeah. If he can develop to that, but that is right. the big question: is right. can he develop? Yeah, I mean, that? you don't need pick. Like I said, I mean, they don't need pick it uh, to be quote unquote great. Right. Right. It's a relative term, you know. That, that's yeah. worse. You know, since the was worse, but. but you need him to be highly efficient. Yes. You need him when you go shot plays to be able to connect on connect those. Yeah. Because if you're going to build around the run game with multiple tight ends, you know, you're going to pick a shot play. You want, you know, you're calling that with the fact that you know what you're going to get yeah. from the defense. The defense will be predictable, and you know what you're going to get, and you want to be able to hit those plays. You know, those are the plays you got to hit. And then, of course, look, these are all cliched but true statements. You know, then you got to convert third downs. I mean, you know, all the stuff that that the little stuff does matter. That matters. And, yeah. and by the way, third downs, you know, you don't need to, you know, if it's third and seven, an eight-yard pass gets you first down. I mean, that's, it doesn't have to be 30 yards yeah. down for yeah. yeah. I mean, we're all, seemingly, we're all getting into that mode where we think that everybody has to run around and be packed from home. And you could argue Mahomes is a phenomenal. He's kind of an outlier, you know. But they still have a very much run approach, too, when you're watching the right, Chiefs play. Right. And that's but a I mean, misconception. So, yeah, so you them. can't start yeah. thinking, well, we need a Patrick Mahomes. It's not, you know, he's, he's, he's an outlier. And he's, he's obviously great. That's not the point. But, you know, you don't, you're not going to find that guy doesn't really exist just all the time. And if you're waiting on that, you're, you're going to be waiting, waiting a long, long time. time. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of teams that waiting on that guy. Man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Seriously, yeah. Seriously, man. So, I mean, so you're looking for efficiency. You're looking for staying on schedule. You're looking for putting your quarterback in positions where, you know, when it's third and four, the playbook's wide open, as opposed to third and nine, where all of a sudden things are different. Um, you know, that, that's really what you're looking for, you know, in this offense. And the one thing he is indisputable with Kenny is he does not put the ball in harm's way. No. I mean, in terms of efficiency, he values the ball. The problem he had that last year, he played, and this is a problem he did not have in college. So, you know, again, I can't tell you why, you know, like, you know, he's too many routine throws. Yes. And, yeah. and he, can't, he can't be that guy, you know, I mean, no one theoretically can be, but, you know. He can't afford to miss a layup. Right. No. If Josh Allen misses a layup well, here or there, right. well, he's right. going to have a dunk. Yes. Three point right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. It's like, what's your explosive characteristic to offset these flaws right, right here? Right. And for him right now. He doesn't have that explosive leg element. No. He and just, he can move pretty well. But he does, He's yeah. going to have to, you know, you know, and he didn't miss that stuff at Pitt. Because I watched yeah. him his last year at Pitt, and like I said, I, I thought he was the best quarterback in that draft class. But I didn't think he was, you know, oh my God, special like this guy's. Right. But I thought he could be a quality starter. Yeah. And, you know, and that's a relative term, obviously. It, you know, then it depends on your team, your scheme, the rest of your team. You know, obviously, I don't think Kenny Pickett works on a team where he's got to put up 30 every week. But ideally, that's, you know, then you start to talk about the Steelers defense, and then you know, that's a whole nother Well, I was going to keep with the quarterback room, and, you know, the elephant in the room is always, what about Justin Fields? What because about? that was been a part of this whole, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, he's Russell been this this whole time. Way, what about right, Justin? Like, raises yeah. a whole number of, of other <laughs> questions, <laughs> because, you know, Justin Fields has started 37 games this year. Uh-huh. Uh, Justin Fields obviously is a super physical traits talent. Yes. Huge arm, the best running quarterback in the league. The legs league. are crazy. The legs yeah. are crazy. Um, the mistakes are but, but, <laughs> you know, I don't know how well he sees the field. And is that something that can be taught? In other words, after 37 starts, and then no, that's and again, a legitimate I'm just posing question. the question. That's a legitimate question. And, and by the question, way, I've been man. meeting with a lot of coaches who are good friends of mine. You know, and these are things we, we, we talk. We just right. talk ball. You know, I'm not, yeah. yeah. And, and so the question is, after 37 starts, do you feel that we know what Justin Fields is, or just do you feel, you know, from talking to an offensive coordinator who's been in the league 30 years, does he feel, hey, if I got Justin Fields, I could change, you know. And, I can develop I, this. I can make this more consistent. Right. And I, there's no right or wrong answer. Everybody's going to have an opinion, yeah. but 
you know, some coaches think, hey, yeah, I can really you know, make it work. Other coaches are, hey, 37 stars. You are who you are. Yeah. You know, so, you, are, you, are. you know, I'm not a coach, so I can't sit here and say definitively I know the answer to that. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously a lot of coaches talk about, well, he's not good in the fourth quarter. But that's a statement which is obviously empirically true, but then the next question is why is that? You know, I'm a process guy. I always yes. want to know why, why something happens. Why? You know, it's easy to say, well, he's not good on third down. But why? Okay. Well, why is that? Yeah. There, there could be ten he, different reasons he's for that. He's a bad player. Why is he bad? <laughs> right. Give, give, you know, give me a reason. Right. There Explain could be a lot of different reasons yes. for that. Um, so, we'll see, you know, again, I, I haven't. Been, I don't ask people whether they think what the Bears are going to do because that's not something that interests me. Yeah. Yeah. What they do is, is going to be what right. they it do. Is what it is. Yeah. All right. But the consensus, I think, seems to be that they're going to draft Caleb Wood. So right. that means Fields is going to be available. Yeah. And clearly, as we've talked, our quarterback situation, it just you know, opens it up. That's right. And, and by the way, I don't think you have to give up the first round to get Justin Fields. No. Do you think so? No. But do you have to pick up his uh, option, though? Well, right, that's the would thing. Do that. that's the, yeah, that's the if problem. you're going to trade for Justin Fields, and you're going to have to do a you're going to have yeah. to sign him yeah. for something. Now, I'm not saying you're signing him for a five-year Deshaun Watson, you know, number, okay. but you're going to you can't just trade for him. That is. Yeah. You're going to have to. His agent's going to basically say, and I'm not saying that means it's, you know, you know, whoever trades right. for him, his agent's going to say, well, you just trade him. You want him? I want a commitment. Yeah. yeah, we need some kind of commitment. Yeah, you know. The finances of it aren't bad because right. this year he's five million, and if you, you pick up the fifth year option on the day right. you traded for him, and that's twenty five or twenty two, okay. so it's like twenty eight ish really for right. two years, right. and then you could read, you know sign, but it's right. going to cost you a second, maybe more. I don't think it'll cost you. Before. But if he develops into what you think he could develop into, you got him essentially on a steal those right. first two years before you got to pay him the big deal. Right, and you would have your franchise take, quarterback. I mean, it, he's, he's a fascinating guy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's got size. He's a big dude yeah. with unbelievable arm strength and obviously the best running quarterback in football. Right now. Yeah. Um, you know, Turnovers so. and sacks, though, are a lot. I mean, yeah. I think the, no, the great part is the right without, without, yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm not sitting here saying oh, he's. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. No, no. We agree on all that. But yeah. I, a lot yeah. of it is the inconsistency. Even when you're watching the British drop it's just like. It's not enough of the scene. The camp is not enough of the scene. And he's rotation. got a little bit of an elongated yeah. delivery. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, one of the big questions when he came out of college at Ohio State was, can he see it well? And I think that's shown up in the league. And, and that's, you know, coaches have different feelings about it. You know, you can, you can help a quarterback greatly in normal down situations. Yes. But it is going to be third and nine. Yeah. And then and they're going to get exiled. Then the defense yep. has the tactical yes. advantage, and you have to you have to have answers. I had a, a great and conversation with I had a great conversation with a coach who coached in the NFL for years and years, probably thirty years, and has been with great quarterbacks. And he said something to me, and this is why I love talking to coaches. Truly resonant. He says one of the things you have to find out about your quarterback. And the only way you find out is in games is to find the answers as the game is progressing. You know, you can help them up to a point. You know, with play I can lead them to water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with your yeah. play calling, with, your, with everything that goes with it, formations. You know, play calling. You know, person. I mean, you can do a certain amount, but at some point, the quarterback, as the game is progressing and the defense is doing whatever it is they're doing, he has to sort of figure out some answers. And the answer can't be just tucking back. Right. You know, so I mean, yeah. you know, I think you, if you're going to trade for Justin Fields, you have to get a sense from talking to as many people as you can. Um, and I don't know the rules about tampering, so I don't know if you're allowed to talk to him. I don't know. It's not like right. college guys. I mean, you talk talk to him. Right. right, right. But you have to find out how you feel about that. Because at some point, he's going to have to find the answers. Yeah. Last thing I have for you, Greg, is the run game concepts. I mean, watch this. I, I think Arthur Smith is going to run out of heavy pressure. Probably a fullback on the roster. I think you're going to see a lot more. He's always had a fullback on the roster. Yeah. yeah. And the Steelers didn't have some squat passing. Right, right, right. right. They, they've been heavy in left, and I think that's going to change. But probably not to the extreme of the plan with the last of the Right. But I also saw when the Steelers ran the ball with that, in the big picture, there was a lot of design which was the I don't see those concepts a lot in my sophomore so I had too much journey. Well, then it depends on yeah. how you decide on what I mean Najee Harris is gonna be so right. Yeah, right. So 
and he's he's much more of a quote unquote volume runner than Walker. So he's probably going to be the guy. Wouldn't you say that's fair? Yeah, by yeah, 60 yeah. 40. Yes. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. So then you have to decide what he's best at. And again, maybe maybe a running back coach would disagree with me. I think he's better in the gaps in the run game than his own. Yes. You agree with that? Yep, absolutely. Yep. I think you need, him downhill, you need to get him need to go. downhill yes. where it's kind of defined. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Don't give him the opportunity to have to try to figure out where I'm going. You know, I think Stop you want him going dirt. downhill. Yeah. Decisive. Yep. Yeah. Get behind your pads. Right. Be a locomotive. Be right. That guy. Right. Yeah. So even if it's not super well blocked, if he generates some velocity You're falling speed, four for an extra two three. Ideally, he's, he's still getting five yards. Yes. Right. Yeah. That, that's you know? actually why I asked the question, because I don't want him slow playing, you know, an outside zone. I don't and, think he's a, yeah. he'd stick his foot in the ground one cut back. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't see him that way at all. Yeah. You Bijan, guys? Bijan, Bijan could do that easily. Yeah. 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 No, and I by don't the either. way, Derrick Henry could do that even in his side. Yeah, but I don't but think that's Harris. what makes Derrick Henry Derrick Henry. Right, so, right, yeah. right. Because right. like, he could beat you Gold running Jack through you, or he could run around you. I mean, for five years, zone. Derrick Henry was one of the best backs we've seen. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. you know, yeah. And he still gained last year behind one of the worst offensive lines in football. I don't know, probably 1,200. Yeah, I mean, and that was a quiet year for him. Yeah, it was a quiet year. Yeah, it was a quiet year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, though, man. So when I look at it like that, I'm saying the same thing. I'm like, man, if it's not Najee Harris and this, you know, this combination of Najee and Jalen Warren, can that tandem with Kenny Pickett be good enough to give us what we saw Arthur Smith do I in mean, Tennessee? And that's going to be the question. Theoretically, you know? it can, but you know, the Pickett has to be better. Yeah, um, exactly. It is. You know, defense also, I know they had a ton of injuries, but I mean, the defense has to be a factor in this, too, because, you know, Tennessee had a really good defense for those years. And, you know, it's, yeah. and, you know, because no matter... Even if the ticket becomes the ticket of, of college, it's still not an explosive offense in the sense that they're going to oh, no, You're there. winning close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely winning one score, yeah. low score yeah. time I mean, games. that's what you sense it would be. I mean, yeah. I know I mentioned in 2018 they put up 30 games in Tennessee. Yeah. I, don't know score, be closer I don't know if that's close the close expectation close. right now. Yeah. I mean, maybe that changes, but I don't know if that's the expectation right now. And, and really, since the end of Ben's career, that's how Tom wins one game. Right, so right That's man. just how been the formula for right, five right. years. Yeah. Right. Right. Absolutely, man. So we will see, man. We will definitely see any linebackers, though, free agency wise, that you're looking at. Oh, potentially, that fits you know the Steelers, man. Because I've been focused on the draft. draft. All right, respect, yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the linebacker, I love it, and I, I'm just, you know, with, with with the season going later and later, you yeah. know, it takes. Can't get to as many college guys as I'd like to, you know, and, and it just is what it is. I mean, no, there's I only so many that. hours. Yeah, yeah, ain't that the truth, man? Yeah, the, the, the kid I've watched, you know, uh, right there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I mean, that guy is a see a trigger oh, guy. He flies. And he yes. Is an athlete. I mean, that guy he can some move. Too, yeah. And cover skills yeah. and all oh, those every down. He's a yeah. good blitzer. Absolutely. Um, they use him as a spy a lot, which is becoming even more prevalent in the NFL with all the quarterbacks. Like <laughs> yeah. But that guy sees it as he frequently You think he's going to test well? How well do you think he tests out here, man? You know what? In some ways, it doesn't matter to me because I've seen the tape. and, that, and that's But, but I imagine yeah. he'll run well. Okay. I mean, you know, that's a relative term, obviously. I yeah. mean, he's not going to run 4 3 five. Right, but he flashes, though. You see oh him flash God. to the ball. You see the closing yeah. speed. I do agree with yeah, you on yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah. And he tackles. Fit, very physical. Yeah, yeah. You like him over at Trotter, though? Uh, yes. Okay. Not even, of, to me, it's not even close. Okay. Yeah. Not even close. I mean, speed, not I mean, athleticism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is I mean, to me, Trotter's a nice player, but I don't see Trotter as you know, a guy that's a special. You know, Cooper, to me, with that movement ability, can be an impact player. All right. Tough to find every down linebacker. Though. That's yeah. the There's a shortage. Yeah. 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 So. Greg Cosell, kind enough to uh, to give us some time as he does every year at the. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Loved it. Let's go. Always We're going to go to break. We'll be back with more from Radio Row on the other side. You're listening to Steelers Nation Radio. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Man, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Man, good to see you again, Thank too. you, Greg. Appreciate right. it, as always. Yeah, that was Thanks, great. Man. I appreciate yeah. it. Good stuff. No problem. Enjoy your combine.